Hello, my name is Darren Coffin, and tonight I wanted to show the log reporting dashboard for ASP.NET MVC. Um, this is an article I found last week um, written by Darren Weir. And I'm sorry if I got that last name wrong. Um, but he wrote a CodePlex, or I'm sorry, a Code Project um, article on how to create a log reporting dashboard for MVC. Um, and you can find his article, just do a search for MVC logging on codeproject.com. And, you know, he, it's a pretty long article. It goes into great detail on how to build each piece. But um, when you're done, basically, you'll have a reporting dashboard that will report Elma errors, um, the health, um, ASP.NET health monitoring errors, and either in log or log4net. Now, I really like the stuff he was doing, um, but I guess the problem I had with it is that it wasn't easily, it's, some, it's not something you could easily use in your project. It's not something you can just plug in. Um, basically his project has a lot of code, a lot of configuration, and to get all of it into your project and working correctly, you know, might take some time. So I, but I really wanted to use this, so what I thought I would do is make a MVC Turbine plugin that would um, get me, get this into my project as soon as possible. Okay. So, to demo this, um, let me just quickly show, I have a Nerd Dinner application running under MVC Turbine. Nothing fancy, we've all seen this before. So, oh actually, sorry, I just want to show one thing. If I go to slash logging, I don't have anything. So, uh, my end goal is that when I go to slash logging, I'm going to get that um, logging dashboard that the uh, other Darren um, created. So, let's get started. First thing we need is, um, now uh, the other Darren's um, logging was all done in the database, so we need to set up a database. Now I already have a Nerd Dinner database that I'm gonna use just for my logging. Um, the regular data is still gonna be stored in app data. So I looked through all those examples and basically broke out all of the uh, database scripts that you're going to need. So I'm going to show how to do that. So I'm going to run some scripts for Elma. I'm going to run some scripts for the health monitoring. Two of these. And I'm going to run the database scripts for nlog. Okay. Done. You can see now I have a database with a bunch of tables. Most of the tables are for the health monitoring stuff. And I have views and I have some stored procedures. Like I said, most of this is for health monitoring, so if you don't need health monitoring, don't do that. But these are the two tables I have for Elma and for nlog. Okay. So that's all I need from the database. So the next thing to do is to load up all the configuration. You know, usually when you set up logging, you have to do quite a bit with configuration. So and I've broken out the configuration into these files that I can quickly copy paste into my application. So I'm going to go ahead and get started there. I'll, I'll open up web config. This will not be fun to watch, but I promise if you get through it, if you just give me a second, you'll see something neat. So I'm going to do that stuff for Alma. I'm not going to get lost here. Thank you. I'm going to load this into system web. Okay, that's for health monitoring. I'm going to load this HTTP handler. This is not fun, but you only have to do this once per project. Let's load this code into the HTTP modules. Okay. Let's load this block here next to connection strings. Great. And I have 
some new connection strings. Now in the uh, nerd dinner application, the connection strings are broken out into their own file. So I'm going to open that up and just drop these in here. Uh, one of the connection strings is uh, just a regular connection string. And this one is for entity. Um, that's what Darren used to um, for his data access. And one more. I need a big in log. So I'm just going to drop in there. Now there's one other thing I need, and I need to, and that is the correct connection string, which I happen to have here. So I'm going to plug that into my in log here. And I'm going to plug it into my connection strings. So uh, sorry. So paste that in there. Okay. And believe it or not, we are done configuring this application. I still think that was pretty painful and I'm open to any suggestions on better ways of doing that. But basically I've just configured InLog, Elma, and Health Monitoring to fit in this application. So now I need to actually bring in his code. Now what I've done, and this is just a preview today because um, to show what I did would probably require a big blog post in and of itself. But long story short, I'm going to bring in his code just by adding a reference to mvcturbine.log reporting dashboard. And I have to add a, a reference to mvcturbine.embedded views because I use embedded views. All right. All right. here. I have a reporting dashboard. Works just like his did. You can see it reports errors from it. Like here's some Alma logs. Here's some health monitoring logs. Um, this error is being thrown just because um, the master page has a bad CSS reference, uh, which I'll fix sometime. And just so you can see in log, I'm going to hop into one of the controllers and I'm just going to pop an iLogger out of the container and I'm going to get rid of this empty constructor because we do not do poor man's dependency injection and I'm going to say whenever someone logs on logger dot info user logged on someone logged off user logged off now I'm going to log on Yep, you can see in log works too. So I've basically injected this logging dashboard into my application with, I think, as much or as the least amount of friction as possible. Um, I need I have a lot more cleanup to do on this, but um, I think this is some progress, and I should have more in a few weeks. Thanks.